contracts are furnished. What are you going to do about it? Take me to a small claims court? And what, Tom's just going to sleep on the sofa? Well, his ex chucks him out. Let's just hope the landlord doesn't find out. He's just invited me to chem sex party. You can't be seriously considering this. Drink this. Oh. You know I love black men. Chris, I only stayed as long as I did because I was afraid to leave. Get off me, you s Let go of him! But how would you? about co-leading the protest with me on Saturday. OK, I'll do it, but not for you, for my community. So, what's the plan? Right. We meet on Bellenden Road, outside Cafe Beards and Bikes, at 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? Yeah, we gotta get there early, so no one sees us. Are you in or not? Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, and when we get there, throw red paint all over the windows. What? Are you trying to get arrested? No, 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 look, we gotta send a message loud and clear. We will not be policed and priced out. Who are all these random people? I don't remember the exact details, but... Some rich shop owner forced that old Arab guy to sell his convenience store. I'm all for fighting against gentrification, but I really think we don't need to be drawing attention to ourselves. Yeah. Like the last thing we need is the police knocking on our front door. Excuse me, how do you sep? Yes, are you Ahmed? My daughter told me you were organising this protest. My wife didn't want me to come, but I couldn't just stay at home. That evil man stole my livelihood. That shop was my life. Well, I'm glad you came, Ahmed. I read about your story in the local paper, and I just knew that I had to take action. I've been working here for 10 years. I came to this country with nothing. My family are devastated. I just don't know what I can do. Ahmed, you're not alone. I mean, there may only be a small number of us here today, but we can still make a difference. Yes, my friend. Now's the time to take action. We are all here to... We are all here today because we are angry and tired of our community being gentrified by crooked capitalists dressed up as hipsters. Yeah! It's not fair that these rich yuppies keep moving into our neighbourhood and putting innocent people out of work. But this man right next to me. I know, that's right. That's, that's right. right! He's been living here for 40 years. He had nothing when he came here as a refugee from Syria. Um, I was never a refugee. And I'm from Turkey, not Syria. He used every penny he had to buy his shop. He took out countless crisis loans. And when the banks wouldn't loan him any more money, he relied on the goodwill of the people in this community for help. Isn't that right, Ahmed? Well, it didn't quite happen like that. For the past 25 years, his whole family have worked here. This shop was his life, and now it is being taken away from him. This is not just a protest about another gluten-free vegan cafe. This is about our community being torn apart and displaced. This is about state-sanctioned violence. This is about the social and ethnic cleansing of Peckham. To that, we say no more. No, no more! more! Are you guys seriously going to protest against me opening this cafe? I bought it fair and square. Who is this fine specimen? Imposter. Get him, Get him out. Well, well, well. How nice of you to join us. I assume you uh, saw my flyer. <laughs> Ahmed, it's just business. You were miles behind on your rent payments anyway. You knew you'd be evicted. You didn't listen, so it was put up for auction. You can always buy another shop nearby. What? Have you not seen the rent prices around here? He'd have to move at least 10 miles before he's able to open a new shop. I feel like I know you from somewhere. <laughs> well, if it isn't Sebastian Langston. Wait, do you two know each other? We went to boarding school together in Windsor. Boarding school? Back when your little friend was a proud member of the Conservative Future. 
Remember those days, Seb, or have you conveniently forgotten? Uh, are you a closeted Tory? No. Uh, <laughs> he's lying. And what's this about Windsor? You said you were from Deptford. I can assure you Windsor is a long way from Deptford. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. You've been lying to us this whole time. No, no, no. I, I, it's not like that. I swear. I knew he was hiding something. Yeah. That he actually has friends that are fucking hot. Why are you trying to pretend you're from the mean streets of South London? I, I haven't even seen you in like five years. You know nothing about me. How do you really know the struggles of people like Ahmed? Huh? You're just as much a part of the problem as I am. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. I'll never be anything like you. Look, Ahmed is a petty bourgeois capitalist trader who sold substandard overpriced goods to local people. His kids work there after school for no money, undercutting other shops paying fair wages. Stop lying. That's not true. Once the Tesco Metro opened, people went there because it's cheaper. That's why he went under. Cat got your tongue. I'm having heart palpitations. Oh my God, you're catching feelings already. I really don't have to explain myself to you people. I've got work to do. Why don't you grow up and find someone else to harass? You are not going to get away with this. Watch your back. Is that a threat? I'm going to call the police. Fuck the police! Oh, you really are trying hard to look tough in front of your homies. I think it's best if you left. Stay away from my shop. Don't touch me. Or what? to resolve a disagreement! I swear, if you come near my shop ever again, it's over for you. So, let me get this straight. You've been undercover all this time. You're a liar and a fraud, bruv. No, no look, it's not like that. Please Can't just let me... you see? This changes everything. You represent literally everything we're fighting against. Can't even look at you, bruv. We'll never trust you again. Come on, let's go. It's, it's not like that. Don't... Thank God. Leave it. You've done enough damage. Come here, it's all you. <sighs> I'm sorry, the protest has been cancelled. What the hell are you doing in my flat? Omar, what's going on? Who are you? You're squatters, aren't you? Okay, you've got about five seconds to get out of my yard. <sighs> How dare you? I'm calling the police. Wait! Calm down. Get out of my flat! Whoa, 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 look, look. I'm Seb. This is Omar, Tom, and Kemi. We moved in on Monday. We're renting it for a landlord. What landlord? We've paid our deposit. No, we have a right to be here. We didn't just show up for me. This is our home. Your home? I bought this flat five years ago. I've been redecorating the place while I was in Marbella. Steve told the, the decorator told me he'd be done by the time I got back. You mean Steve the landlord? I'm the bloody landlord. Okay, I saw an ad for this flat and it said it cost £550 per month and was fully furnished, which it was not. We've signed the contract. Oh my God. I've been scammed. No, we've all been scammed. But this whole document is bogus. This can't be. What about the cash deposit? Omar, you need to do something. Okay, okay, I'm calling him right now. Sorry, it has not been possible to connect your call. <sighs> oh my God, have we just lost all our money? Seb, you must have something to say. Omar, you said everything was going to be fine. I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. I don't know what to do. 
Well, I'll report this to the police, but you can't stay here. Well, can't we just stay for tonight? I'm not going to tell you again. Get out of my flat! Now! Seb, could you call one of the protesters? Maybe they could put us up for the night? I am not squatting. Plus, they've all disowned him. So we really are homeless. <laughs>